Okay, so now we're back and this is what you should have. It should look exactly like this and this is what they call the right side. As you can see in the instructions for the first row, it had a bracket with RS in it and that stands for right side. So you will know that every, so every other side is the right side. So the odd numbers will be the right side and the evens are going to be on the wrong side. You can measure this again at this point, just to make sure that you're still within your 13 inches. And sometimes you have to stretch it just a little bit. And I'm around 13 inches, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so for the second row, you are going to need to turn your work. At the end of the first row, it says to turn. So you'll turn it. And now the side that's facing you is what's called the wrong side. And it's distinct for when you are are making cha uh, crochet chains like this uh, um crocheted like when it's just a single crochet it's fairly simple to tell that this is the wrong side compared to this side this side is just a little nicer than this side so the first instruction is to chain one and you're going to do it just like you did with the, the when you were chaining so you'll hold your, your material and you'll just wrap your yarn and pull it through the first loop, for, through it, the loop. So the first is you're going to make one single crochet in the next single crochet. And again, your, crochet, your single crochet that you're going to go into is, is right here. This is your, the single crochet that you're going to go into. You're going to go and you're going to put your hook underneath both those loops. Just like this. So that it looks like that on your hook. And then you're going to wrap and you're going to pull it through. You're going to wrap and you're going to pull through the two loops. Just like that. Now the second part of the instruction is one treble or one TR in next single crochet. So a TR is what they call a treble crochet. And it sounds harder than it is. So what you're going to do is before you put your hook anywhere, you're going to wrap once. You're going to wrap a second time. So you should have one, two, three loops on your on your hook. Then you're going to go into the single crochet right next to the next single crochet. So this one right here, you're going to put your hook through just like this. You're going to grab your yarn, you're going to wrap your yarn around and you're going to pull through. So now you should have on your hook one, two, three, four loops. You'll wrap again because that's what you're going to use to pull through. The, and you should, so now you have five loops. Pull your, your, that piece of yarn through and you go through one loop and two loops. Then you're going to wrap again and you're going to go through one, two loops. And you're going to wrap one more time and you're going to pull through the last two loops. And that is a, a treble crochet. So, the next thing is, is it says repeat from star across to the last single crochet. So when you go up to the top of that, that instruction for the second row, it had, after your chain one, it has a star or an asterisk. It, so you're going to start there again and you're going to go and you're going to make one single crochet in the next single crochet. So push it through and pull and then wrap and pull through both loops. And then you're going to do a treble crochet again. So wrap twice, put through the two loops, grab your yarn, pull out. You're going to wrap and you're going to go through one, two, and then you're going to wrap again and you're going to go through the next two 
and then you're going to wrap one more time and you're going to go through both so that's what you're you're going to that's a treble crochet and what they mean when they say push the treble crochets through to the right side so this is your wrong side right when you turn it back around this is your right side and what what you'll do is you'll just push it through and now you have your texture so this is what we're doing with these treble crochets is we're making the bumps of texture on your dishcloth so and all you'll do is you'll just keep repeating a single crochet in the next stitch And then you'll do a treble crochet, so wrap twice, in, wrap once, pull it out, wrap again, go through two loops, wrap again, go through two more loops, wrap one last time, go through the last two loops. And then just repeat that all the way through to the end. You don't have to push the you don't really have to push the treble crochets through until the end. You can do that at the very end of the entire project even. Nice thing is is that if you get lost on what stitch you're on, if you uh push if you you could tell because if you're able to push the crochet through then it's it's treble and you'll be on the single crochet next. So pull through, pull through both loops, wrap once, wrap twice, go through, wrap once, pull through, wrap once and then pull through two loops, wrap again, pull through two more loops and wrap one last time and pull through all the loops. And then you'll just do that right to the to the last single crochet. And in that last single crochet, you'll just, I believe it is a single crochet and the very last single crochet. So if you can do that, we'll come back and we'll go on to number, uh, to the third row.